everybody. This is Mystic Jen. I am here for the, the monthly reading. for. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Rising, and Moon signs for April 2018. And the decks that I am using is I'm using the Goddess Tarot. And I'm also using the Energy Oracle Cards. Okay, both of these are new decks. I just used the Goddess Tarot for the weekly reading, and I'm going to use them in this one. I was just being called to, and I changed up the Oracle deck because I was called to do so. The en on this Energy Oracle deck that I have is also a newer deck. <coughs> I did a quick walkthrough for myself on the deck before shuffling them. A lot of these decks, I am going, like I said in the last video, I am going to start doing some walkthroughs. You'll just have to ignore the fact that they're out of order. But I like to work with a deck a little bit before I do a review on them. But we are going to ask what energies and what does Cancer, Sun, Rising, Moon signs need to know for the month of April of 2018. Uh, this deck is getting a little bit feisty, so it's going to be time to uh, not stop shuffling here. Okay, we got a few cards that fell out here. Okay. We're going to start off with the Two of Swords. Gorgeous card. The Two of Swords is... Twos are about choices and balance. Um and communications being that this is the sword case it would be um, communications this is about somebody who has a choice that they have to make but they're refusing to see those choices she's also blocking out her emotions if you can see the water in the background she is has her back to that water so this is telling me that this is somebody who is blocking out their emotions and doesn't want to deal with them. So whatever went on in March is starting April out with being closed off. Uh, this is somebody who is thinking about their choices, but they're blocking out the emotional aspect. They're blocking out their intuition. This card is saying that you need to kind of open up and and listen to that inner voice. And you can't stay in this stalemate state forever. Okay, you do have to make a choice. And this choice situation is causing a lot of anguish, as in the as it appears in the Nine of Swords. this is It's like you're having trouble sleeping. This decision that you are trying to make is consuming your thoughts. This is also a, a card of anxieties, worries. Although, there's this light shining here. And to embrace the light of this, you need to come out of this state of blocking yourself off. And you need to, instead of blocking the light out, you need to let it in. And it is going to, you are going to come up with oppositions, as it says in the Seven of Wands. 
You're going to come up with opposition. However, it is going to require um, you standing your ground. Okay? Sorry about that. I'm trying to get some, a better view of the cards. Um, because it seems like my video is dark. Maybe it's just my screen. Um, but anyhow, this decision, it, you are going to come up with opposition. You can't avoid that. But you, do, but you need to stand your ground. And then we have the crone woman here. She's like the Hierophant, going off by herself, um, seeking counsel, seeking counsel from spirit. Um, this is saying that you need to go within, which that's what this card is signifying also, going within and quit blocking it out. Going within, and maybe it's time that, it's like she's very, she looks very worried as well. And she's, a, she's like the same as the hermit. Uh, I think they call her the crone. I have to double check. Like I said, this is a new deck that I have, I've only worked with once. Haven't gone through all the cards yet. And but anyhow, she is stating that maybe seeking advice from somebody wiser. Some wise, it's, this is like getting wise counsel. Okay, what is this that Cancer is facing in April? What is this opposition about? This is coming, what comes up is the Empress. This is about um, motherly nourishment, um, the love of nature. But so I'm feeling like maybe you have a conflict with, your, with a mother figure in your life. Okay. That you're having trouble deciding what to do. We have another major. So this is a major decision. This is the star card. <coughs> the star is shining really bright. And she's on a swing over the water. And there's all these other bright stars in the sky. Very tranquil. Um, I'm getting the... This is saying that an answer is on its way. Okay. An answer is on its way. So there is hope in this situation. Okay. And I'm being told it's faded. So maybe this is an older or an elderly parent, elderly mother. And maybe you're facing a situation. Maybe she needs care. <coughs> maybe you're unable to provide all the... <coughs> Excuse me, all the care yourself. <coughs> like you're carrying this burden yourself. And this is a triumph card. This is the Ace of Swords. This is about communication, new beginnings, new thought process. That there is an answer that's going to come that is going to open up a lot of options. And you're going to find a comforting, triumphant answer to this problem that you have with your mother. Okay. Um, you love your mother dearly. Or maybe this is actually, maybe you had an argument with your mother and you're trying to keep the peace, but to get everything resolved, you're going to have to confront the situation head on. 
if this is not your mother, this could be a mother-in-law or other family member. Okay, and in the Oracle cards comes a storm warning. Okay, there's a tornado coming, and I'm feeling like this is inevitable. you got to stop running from it. It's just delaying things. You need to get this done and over with. Okay, and I'm feeling like this storm... It's like there are clouds up in the horizon, and this is a, indicating a diffi uh, like a potential difficulty. It's either external world or within yourself and your emotional life. The difficulty is coming closer, and you may have already heard the rumblings. And that is why, because you've already heard the rumblings of this, that is why you're trying to close yourself off and not face it. You put the blindfold on willingly because you don't want to deal with it. Um, but the caution is to be conscious of it, but not fearful. Um, consider what's going on and looking at the situation with calm, with a calm, with calm and clarity. Okay. The calm and clarity I feel is coming from the crone or the hermit. Okay. And you have to investigate your your different options and honor yourself and your intentions stand up for yourself stand up for your intentions you have good intentions and you need to stand by them and and as with all difficulty even the worst storm passes but always remember you have the power and wisdom to handle whatever may come your way so even though this is causing a lot of anxiety for you, a lot of worries, storms pass. They don't linger. Um, there's a saying out there, if you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes. You know, I mean, the weather changes. Storms pass. They're short-lived. Okay. So you need to weather this storm. You need to stand up for yourself. And you need to face the adversities head on. So that you can embrace the light in your life and come to peace with things. Maybe there's other family members that are arguing with you about things. And we also have uh, the blossoming abundance. Okay, so what, after the storm, you're going to, it's going to be abundance. I'm feeling like abundance of love. Okay, and family love. I feel like the family finally coming back together after this. And it is showing a really, this is springtime. Perfect. This is like the perfect card for April. With April showers, bring May flowers. This is springtime with coins and new flowers blooming all around. They even um, hang like fruit on, an, on the tree. If you see the tree above, they're hanging off of there, ready for the picking. And it, this is like a new increase in wealth, possibly a dramatic and uh, in unexpected way. So this is saying that this could be a wet wealth as far as money is concerned, but I'm feeling this is emotional wealth. This is a wealth of love, Be, considering all the other cards, and I feel like this is a family issue. Okay, and you be aware that you saw this, you, that, that the, you had sown the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener. Okay, and to see the blooming results, you need to take hold of it. This card indicates that the universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom, blossom. So smell the flowers and tend to new growth. Be grateful and enjoy. So there's a lot of joy after the storm, after all the rain. There, it's going to produce great fruit and great, great all blooming flowers, serenity. So this is the calm after the storm. Some say calm before the storm. This is the calm after the storm. So, the first step is taking off that blindfold 
and dealing with the situation head on. All the adversities and everything else. Just deal with it. Seek wise counsel. There's somebody who can advise you in the direction that you need to go. That's going to be bring truth and clarity to this situation. And whether it's being your mother or another family member or whoever this situation is dealing with, the decisions you have to make here. And this card is also saying do it in a loving and nurturing way. You don't have to be aggressive. There, you could stand your ground and at the same time in a loving, embracing way. And she's also a signal of abundance. So going along with this card as well. So this Empress has multiple meanings in this reading. And there and you need to have faith and keep and have hope. You need to keep the faith that this is all going to work out. Yes, a storm is coming. You have to face it. You can't avoid it. But after the storm, there's going to be a calming. There's going to be abundance. So I hope this helps you all, Cancers. And stay tuned for some more videos. I think this is going to be a video day because I pretty much have the whole day. I'm going to have an unboxing later on of something new that I'm dabbling in. And I can't wait to show that to you. So, And I should have more sun sign readings up for April. So I do thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.